Today I'm going to be reacting and breaking down a song called It Has To Be This Way from the Metal Gear Rising original soundtrack. Boom! Whoa. Startled me a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Okay, a lot of industrial elements already. Oh! Listen to the drums. <laughs> Listen to the double bass pattern. This is some Fear Factory kind of thing. Oh my god. Into the double bass, oh my god. No, it's too good. That was it. Oh my god. Yeah, that's the resolution of the song. <laughs> Playlist. I already said it, so let's break it down. Now, it might be silly to think that industrial metal takes a lot from the industrial element from it, of course. But it's actually almost to a literal sense because... In industrial metal, we hear a lot of synthetic elements, which are the synthesizers, which we heard in the song. And there is a mechanical machine element in the way the synthesizers are produced in, in the pads and the leads and whatnot. And also the tropes that are derived from the industrial part, because oft more often than not, in industrial metal, you will hear uh, themes about dystopian high-tech far future cyberpunk scenarios and also wars with machines and whatnot so how all these elements contribute to the story of the main character and who he is well for starters we see that we he has been almost completely transformed into a mechanical version or a robotic version of himself however he still preserves the most important part of his human side which is his face and his head and this is incredibly important for the character because the most recognizable part of, uh, of a human being is his face. And through his face you can see his emotion through his eyes and whatnot. And also the brain is where everything is stored in terms of, you know, who the character is, his memories, what he has been through, what his, what his thoughts are and whatnot, okay? Now, if we take all those elements and refer them to the premise of the industrial metal, yes. We have the, a lot of the synthetic elements that kind of embody, not pun intended, uh, who he is as a character. But we also have in the song the string section and the brass section 
which is what it's bringing the human side, the organic side into the song. And even though in the song we hear these two parts actually complementing each other instead of creating conflict, for the storytelling purposes, they actually evoke a conflict, uh, uh, talking about the main character, because he might have a conflict within himself because he still preserves a human side and most of his body has been overtaken by this mechanical robotic side. And I'm going to go even further and take the liberty to make a parallelism here to a movie and a video game that actually share a threat, a common threat in the storytelling part. The movie is called Robocop and is an 80s movie in which the main character gets killed and it's transformed against his will uh, into basically a robot, but he still preserves a human side, you know, he, he still preserves memories of what happened to him and his family and whatnot. And that presents a threat, uh, of course, to his robotic side that has all these directives and whatnot that ha are, have, have been, um, you know, implemented into him by a, a corporation. And we also have a video game called Deus Ex Human Revolution, in which the main character gets blasted by a bomb. And in order to save his life, they have to rebuild his body with mechanical parts. So now that he is almost entirely a mechanical a piece of engineering, if you could say, he has a conflict of accepting his new self. talk a little bit further about the music i would like to mention two things in specific the first one is that the song actually have two very defining parts the first part is the opening of a song and the second part is the verse okay now we can hear that in the opening we have a very rhythm based percussive hard hitting arrangement with a lot of synthetic elements of course we also have we also have some glitch noisy synthesizers that are trying to build on the premise of the mechanical high-tech part of this character and also the world itself but then we have a counterpart in the verse which is more about you know sustained chords the chord progression changes which drastically changes the tone of, of the song now the song becomes more about valor and courage uh, probably something that you will need in a battlefield Now let's talk a little bit about the lyrics, right? I think they're very related to the title of a song, which is, it has to be this way. Now there's very important lines in this lyrics that we have to dive a little bit further in which we have, but who's to judge the right from wrong? Now this is the part in which he realizes that going too much into the ethics and morals of war is sort of a futile thing to do. So he just surrenders to the idea of this is just warfare. It has to be this way. Another part is when he says, I think we will both agree that violence breeds violence. Now, this is probably the most crucial part of the song because this internal dialogue is in between his mechanical self and his human self, in which the human self is telling his mechanical self, like, well, yeah, I surrender to the idea because pro it probably the mechanical self is the one that is not you know, dwell, dwelling into this whole ethical and moral uh, things about warfare, his human side is, but now he's surrendering to the idea of, of saying like, well, yeah, you, you were right, you know, all along, like violence, violence, breeds violence, this is, the ha this is the way it has to be, this is the way we have to do it, there's no other option. Now, at the end of the lyrics, we see that he still has a purpose because he says, Yet staring across this barren wasted land, I feel new life will be born beneath the blood-stained sand. So even though his human side comes to this realization in which don't worry anymore about the moral genetics of warfare, just focus on your objective, he sees 
that regardless of everything that she's going to do that could be on their gray areas of warfare or even beyond that into the darker side at the end it will be worth it because uh you know it, there will be uh life a new life born from that bloodbat let's say so i think i'm gonna give this song an s tier but hey if you enjoyed this video check out this other breakdown that i did and if you would like to support my work further, you can check the support section in the description of this video, or you can find my Patreon and all the other links, alright? Thank you very much.